everybody, it's Jenny, and today I'm going to be sharing my pocket letter that I made using the paper pads and ephemera pack from the lovely fall box of the month kit from Not Too Shabby. I'll include all the links to the Not Too Shabby shop in the description below, and don't forget you can use the code N2S10 for 10% off your order. So to start, I grabbed this pocket page protector which I picked up at Hobby Lobby and then I'm just going to start going through the ephemera to get an idea of which pieces I might want to use. So after I have all the pieces laid out, I definitely know I want to use a couple of the sentiments. Definitely some pumpkins and these cute sweaters as well as the leaves and the candle. So I'm just going to go ahead and set those aside and then start picking out my pattern papers. So right away, I knew there was a pumpkin banner on a sheet of this pattern cardstock that would make the perfect little corner embellishment to my pocket letter. So I set that piece aside and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out. Next, I'm going to line all the edges with this black memento marker. Then I'm going to go back to picking out the papers for each of the little pockets. So I figured since the other pad of paper has some pretty busy patterns, I would use these plain papers to just um, balance it out. And then before I trim anything down, I'm just going to lay them all out how I would arrange them to see how well they look together. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim them all down to two and a half by just under three and three quarters. Then I'm going to add each of my pattern papers to the little pockets and then I'm going to start playing around with my ephemera pieces to decorate each of the little spaces. have everything laid out how I want it I start gluing things down and my plan is to add some of my pieces directly to the plastic and then others to the paper to slip back into the pocket and I'm also going to pop up some elements with foam tape for added dimension
Next, I'm going to line the edge of my pocket letter with a piece of washi from my stash and go ahead and repunch those holes. Then I also found some coordinating twine in my stash that I'm going to use to make some really loopy bows to tie through those holes. at the very top I decided to add a little tag which I made using some more of the pattern paper and ephemera and I just played around with that along with the washi and then once I had that done I punched a hole in the top and tied that to my pocket letter with some more of the twine. To finish off my pocket letter, I brought in some white flatback pearls and I'm just going to go ahead and add those across the front. And here's my finished pocket letter. I think it turned out super cute and I'm really loving the cozy rustic vibes along with this cooler blue and brown color scheme that you don't usually see for fall. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!